Hi guys, Pablo here. Welcome to the Computer Vision Mini Degree, our comprehensive curriculum in computer vision techniques with Python. Computer vision is more important than ever. We are seeing for the first time large deployments of computer vision applications across all different industries. Mining, security, smart cities, retail, you name it, it's all over the place. It's more important than ever. It is great that you are learning these techniques here. The fact you have enrolled tells me that you're somebody interested in technology and in using innovative solutions to solve real world problems. Now, the curriculum, you are seeing on the screen a map of how the different courses connect to each other. Um, you can download this as a PDF, by the way. Um, starts with uh, teaching you how to code in Python and how to use the NumPy library which um, allows you to work with matrices and data. And that will be very useful for the upcoming modules. Um, one of the core concepts in computer vision is understanding how images work. You need to understand how images are represented in the computer, how you can manipulate them. And that will give you them the tools to, that you can build uh, upon and take on more advanced uh, topics such as um, detection of patterns, edge detection, um, and even facial recognition. And also um, areas such as uh, video and optical flow, for example, detecting an object that is moving in a video. What you're really doing is taking images out of that video and analyzing those images. And you'll also in this curriculum learn to um, develop an um, Internet of Things application for a smart security camera using a Raspberry Pi. You don't need to have a Raspberry Pi, by the way, it all um, can run on your computer as well. Um, so this is just a guide if you are a beginner and you don't want to worry about which course comes first, which course should I do now, you can do the courses in the order that they show in the curriculum. We have placed all the courses so that all of the prerequisites are covered by the previous course so you don't have to worry about it. This is only if you are a more advanced programmer who wants to uh, skip some of the modules. Now, keep in mind, if one of the courses seems a bit too advanced, you might have to go back to the previous ones. One of the reasons why I really enjoy both making and consuming online courses is because they really adapt to the learner's style. So you can watch a course in your own terms. And some techniques that we have seen working for a lot of people are the following. The first one is to have um, a schedule when you're watching the courses can be at different times of the day, it can be in the weekends, but it's important to keep it consistent. We've also noticed that people who get a lot out of our courses tend to follow and code along. So they're watching the video while they're coding. So you can watch the video, you pause, and then you go to the code and add something to your code and then continue the video. So then you get that practical experience. And last but not least, um, it's important to also try to develop your own projects and work on some applications, some ideas. You might have a business idea or something you want to create. So it really works when you are learning something in the course and then you go and you add it to your own project and then you go back to the course. So that uh, gives you a very complete uh, learning experience. Now, we love hearing about um, our students' projects. If you build anything after taking this curriculum or it is useful to you in any way, in a, in a job or a, in freelance work or anything, please let us know. Feel free to share your story in the discussion areas or to contact us uh, over any of our social channels. We love hearing about our students, so we'll be very happy to hear on how you have used these skills in, in your life. Uh, thanks for watching and it is now time to get started with um, Python.